Doing theology is a process that involves both study and personal spirituality. And these are not, in our mind, two separate activities, but really two sides of one work done in the presence of the living God. It begins, of course, by becoming a disciple of Jesus, learning from him, imitating him, depending on him as the prophet, the priest, the king, sent by God to save us from our sins. And then we lean prayerfully on the Holy Spirit for illumination. We read the Bible. We meditate upon its divinely authoritative words with submissive faith. And so God works through Christians who sincerely desire to learn and grapple with truth and understand it through particular books of the Bible, such as the Psalms and Romans. And once we understand the word better, as we seek to obey that word more faithfully, and we suffer temptation and persecution throughout the process, and God uses that to mature us as well, we, we understand we don't do this alone, but we do this as an active member of a biblical church in relationship with other faithful brothers and sisters in Christ. So not as ivory tower theologians, but as listening respectfully to the historic confessions and catechisms, reading the great books of the past, and then taking the Bible, the confessions, the catechism, the great books, and what God is teaching us ourselves spiritually from the Word, merging it with biblical ethics and with contemporary issues, and then bringing it out to the 21st century world to develop a kind of broad and balanced Christian theology. And so the growing theologian studies particular doctrines of the Christian faith to go deeper into his own understanding, his own faith, his own love. And you focus then on a theme of the Bible and you take careful note of all the scriptures that address it. You use linguistic tools. You analyze specific statements of God's word. Compare them with other scriptures. Seek to interpret them rightly, prayerfully. Always asking questions. What's the meaning? What's the intention? What's the logic? What's the application of this doctrine or these scriptures that we're seeking to grapple with? And as our understanding of exegetical and biblical theology grows, we learn that we need every kind of theology to come into play in systematic theology. We need progressive historic redemption. We need ethical theology, we need historical theology, we need to use commentaries, dictionaries, biblical theologies, systematic theologies, all to remain a servant of the church, laboring to communicate the message of God's word with accuracy, with clarity, and with power for the conversion of sinners, the maturation of the saints, and the glorification of the church.